Thanks for tuning in to The Trailblazers, where each time Danny and I showcase one phenomenal change maker whose venture is using technology for social good. Now this time we're circling in on health technologies. This is an area that has huge social impact potential, right? Because we're all looking for ways to either stay disease free or cope with an existing medical condition. Exactly, and tech advances can massively help here. Today we're meeting the founder of Jaro Gear, whose wearable, the Jaro Glove, targets those suffering from Parkinson's disease. This is an intelligent glove that could significantly transform the day-to-day -day quality of life for those affected by the condition. The inventor, Fai Ong, is a medical student from Imperial College in London who also does high-impact research at none other than Harvard and MIT. Now, he trained as an army combat paramedic back in Singapore, where he's originally from. Danny, it turns out he's also a bathroom opera singer and builds speakers and amps for fun. I can't wait to meet this guy. Same here. Now, Fai has created a glove that mechanically stabilizes the tremors so characteristic to Parkinson's sufferers. It's based on gyroscopes and accelerometers, and Fai explains that if you took these types of discs and spun them even faster than, say, a jet engine, and applied this to the hand, the spinning discs would resist movement and yet allow it, hence stabilizing hand tremors. Fascinating. Danny and I are confident that this is going to be invaluable for patients, doctors, families, and their carers. Let's meet Fai. Fai, we're really thrilled to have you as our next Trailblazer, so thanks for doing this. No, no, thank you very much. Most excited to be here. So look, Gyro Glove really caught my eye mm. because it's a very credible example to me of the sheer potential impact of technology to make people's lives better. And I know it's currently in prototype stage, yes. but talk us through how the idea first struck you to develop this. Right, so I'm a medical student and we have one patient who had really bad tremors. She's 103 year, years old. And so she had difficulties eating and that resulted in her losing a lot of weight, basically. So I thought, you know, is there some way in which I could actually help this, this person? And so we took, you know, given uh, my science background, my, you know, my friends in engineering, we went through, you know, all different types of uh, possible solutions, such as, you know, elastic bands, uh, even up to, you know, exoskeletons and, you know, robotics. And so, but we wanted something simple, we wanted something that's reliable and offered instantaneous uh, control of the hands and I think we found that sweet spot in gyroscopes. So in palatable form, mm -hmm. if I break down what gyroglove is and how it works. Sure. So as the name suggests, uh, gyroglove is based on gyroscopes. So gyroscopes are nothing more than spinning discs or spinning, spinning wheels like the tops you play with as toys. So these tops, we are trying to couple that mechanically to the hands. And what happens is that it feels like having your hand a thick treacle. You're still able to move but it feels really slow. And to get slightly technical, this is mm. based on conservation of angular momentum? That's absolutely correct. So I'll be breaking that down later for viewers in yes. a little segment we've got called Not Just a Geek Thing. Let's do but that. But I would love to also hear from you, Fai, what stumbling blocks you and your team have come up against and indeed expect to face in the future to bring it to market? As with, as with any startup, the biggest thing is having the right people on hand. And I think you know, this wouldn't be, be possible without you know, our fantastic team. So we have mechanical engineers, we have electrical engineers, we have an award-winning industrial designer on board, we have professors from April College, you know, director of, a clinical innovations director of the NHS as advisors. And to that assembling that, you know, that fantastic team is what I thought was my biggest uh, challenge, at least in the start. I mean, after that, it would of course be the technical bits. So basically, for example, stabilizing a disc that's spinning at thousands of rounds per minute. There are up to 20 million people globally mm. living with Parkinson's. Yes. So the glove, yes. in its claim to reduce tremors by 60%, yes. could have tremendous impact yes. here. I want to play devil's advocate yes. slightly and, and grill you a little bit about how confident you are of this impact. To be absolutely honest, our um, benchmark is at least three quarters, 75%, even 80%. And so what we're seeing now, even from our test rig, which we'll show you later, is that um, for a rig that's calibrated to a severe hand tremor, we're looking at a three-quarter reduction already for a very, very early stage gyroscope. And that can easily be made seven to eight times more powerful. Wow. Yes. Okay, so let's think about that for a second. We can't make promises now, but we'll, it's looking really good for us. I know Gyrogear aims to develop wearables. Yes across different areas and yes. it's not just the gyro glove. Yes. Are you able to share any plans sure. for the future? So for instance, I mean this singular, this is our first platform based on gyroscopes. We can easily adapt this uh, to other body parts. 
So your head, your legs, we can also adapt it to other applications. For example, a couple of uh, surgeons have expressed their interest in this as a training device. We can use it for sports, physiotherapy, and I think you know, there are huge loads of applications for this. And of course, we can't tell you about our next few platforms. I wouldn't ask you to give away any trade secrets, yes. I promise. So, Fai, let's, let's mm -hmm. talk about what you're like as a person. We always sure. do on the trailblazers, right? right I right. want to unravel what makes you tick. So, right. I, I promise not to ask any probing questions. Sure. Well, actually, I might. Um, <laughs> what do you do to maintain your sanity? Uh, so, if, when I do have the time as a medical student, um, I, you know, I have a couple of hobbies. So, I mean, for example, I, I do work out, I do build my own amplifiers. I love, you know, high fidelity music. I, I, I like singing as well. Yeah, I believe you're going to uh, potentially teach me some amateur I opera singing in a bit. So, so, so people need to, to stay tuned <laughs> to, to see how uh, that unravels. Yes. So, Fai, the term millennial is used more to qualify a demographic, right? 18 to 34, 35. But it's also become a bit of a movement. There are also a lot of commentators in the media who label our generation as being quite self-serving, the selfie generation. Mm -hmm. How would you counter that? Well, I do agree to some extent that because of all the technological advances, we can be a bit self-absorbed, especially with our iPhones and stuff. But we have to re remember that all that, all the good, uh, our quality of life has been built on the hard work of previous generation. Are, you, are, we, are we here because we want to make ourselves happy? Are we here because we want to make others happy? And being able to at least think that through and think wow. that through carefully. Fai, I really enjoyed chatting to you, so thanks for doing this. You know, your bio says, and I quote, I can't seem right. to stop making things. <laughs> yeah. I love that ethos. It's clearly what drives you. Mm -hmm. I feel like we need to get you a t-shirt that says that. All right. I think yeah. we should all wear t-shirts that say that. <laughs> but thank you for doing the trailblazers. Not at all. I mean, we had a fantastic time. So thank you very much for that. So if I, you said to me, mm. you're a bathroom opera singer. I try. <laughs> now, yes. you're going to attempt to teach me some of the basics of singing. Yes. OK, mm -hmm. break it down. All right. So I mean, very simply, we have three main components. Okay. So firstly, your breath. Okay. Right. So sit upright, take a deep breath, breathe, breathe low and breathe deep. OK. All right. Next. Feel very centered. All right, next thing would be your windpipe. So keep a nice posture, make it nice. All right. <coughs> then the, the third thing is, mm -hmm. I, which I find the most useful, okay. is relax. Singing is beautiful, but very relaxed. Okay, okay. so shall we, let's, let's do this. All Are right. we doing a dream a dream? Yes, Woo! it is. Let's, let's try that. Okay, I can't promise I'm not going to completely mute mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something easy and nice. Yeah. Let's go for it. And... I, I dreamed a dream in time gone, gone by When hope was high and life worth living, living. I dreamed that love would never die. I dreamed that God would be forgiving. That was fantastic. <laughs> did you have a good time? I did. I'm going to go practice at home now. Absolutely, I think you're greasing. Right, actually. I'm off to the bathroom to practice some more. So I'm here in Imperial College London to speak to Paul, who's an engineer at Gyro Glove, and we're going to see how this amazing piece of tech works. So, Paul, should we um, boot up Gyro Glove? Sure. So, if I turn on this battery, the motors here are going to start rotating and get this brass disc up to 15,000 RPM. Okay. And basically, if you then put it on. Yeah. So, right, right now, we have this really long hand cast just to ease the force transmitting the stabilization force to the arm. Okay. And basically, when the patient is going to start experiencing the tremor like this, you can see that the gyroscope orientation is moving to try to yeah. automatically, automatically stabilize and counteract this type of motion. Okay. So what are you feeling now? So say yeah, you're getting that, that, that vibration coming through, what would, what would someone be feeling when they're moving around? So right now in, I can hear the noise of the, of the gyroscope but I don't actually feel it rotating at all. It's only if I have a really quick acceleration like this that it automatically slows me down. That's right. yeah. Like if I just do this, then I don't feel anything. It's stable. So it's a this is the mechanic. So right now we're working on a much smaller prototype, which is about 50 mil diameter and 20 mil high, which is completely autonomous and automatically detects when you're the tremor and you don't have to like change the speed or whatever. Our algorithm does everything for you. Well, Paul, I think it's absolutely fantastic and I can't wait to see more of it. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thanks, Danny. Danny, I knew that when we found five for the Trailblazers, that we'd be blown away by the sheer potential of what he's developing. 
But I think it's safe to say we've also come away really fired up by his infectious energy and passion. I'd agree. He's a great example of a young change maker who really wants to make people's lives better with his wearable, the gyro glove. Keep an eye on him, because I know we will. Thanks for tuning in. We should just do it and rap. Yeah, let's do it. Disease free or cope with an existing medical condition. Stop it. Zach Lee and Stop it. Tech Advances you need to go to a doctor's appointment and I keep up. We're meeting the founder of Gyro Gear. Come on. Let's do it. Do it. But I think it's safe to say we've also come away. Did, why did you do that to your eyebrows? I didn't. I was, I was listening. You just, you just went la. No, I didn't. You went like that. You just went. Mm. Oh my god. What the hell is that? <laughs>